This is footage of Neil Armstrong almost dying in 1968. This wonky looking vehicle he's flying is called the Lunar Landing Research Vehicle, or the LLRV. This was a test bed to teach astronauts how to fly the lunar module that was going to land on the moon. Two of these vehicles were built. The second was supposed to have much better handling, but they had basically the same shape. It's an open frame vehicle with a downward turbofan engine that counteracts five sixths of its weight, so it feels like you're landing on the moon. On each of the corners are thrusters to mimic how the lunar module flew because it was controlled by small thrust rockets. This flight was on May 6th of 1968, and it was Neil Armstrong's 22nd flight in the vehicle. At the time, he was the backup commander for Apollo 9, which meant that if he had to go up, he was going to have to fly the lunar module in Earth orbit on a checkout flight. The flight started out normally. For a few minutes, everything was totally fine, but then it went out of control. About 200 feet above the ground, he decided he had to eject and he landed by parachute safely. Well, the vehicle absolutely crashed and was entirely destroyed. He walked away from the crash. He just bit his lip pretty hard, but he was feeling good enough to go to the office that afternoon and write up the incident report. One thing I love about this footage, and I love sharing it, and I love when people get excited about it, is, like, how wacky it looks. Like, we think of spaceflight as everything is, like, the ultimate cutting edge, and then you've got this vehicle that's just, like, they called it the flying bedstead because it looks like a bed post with engines on it. But that was how they learned to land on the moon. Sometimes engineering is so beautifully simple and looks so beautifully bizarre, but it's amazing.